Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to rebuild MSDB. And uh, this, this video is going to help you under these scenarios that your MSDB is in recovery state. However, you do have MSDB database backup that is available and database is good and uh, restorable. Uh, when MSDB is in recovery state, you don't have any option uh, to restore the database. So basically, you have to rebuild MSDB and then later on you can go ahead and uh, restore uh, your MSDB from the backup once it's uh, come online. So the things that we'll be learning in this video is number one, how to start SQL Server in master only mode because <clears throat> If you do that, it's going to ignore model database and MSDB database and your services will start right away. If you don't do that and you have a problem with your mod model database, then it's going to give you error that the model database, uh, it cannot find or a model database is corrupted, so the services will not start. In this particular demo, we do need our SQL services to start, uh, even if we need to do it in master-only mode. So when we do that with this flag, with this parameter, backslash T36608, uh, that means we're forcing SQL Server basically to start in um, uh, in master-only mode. It will it'll only care if master um, data file and ma master log file is um, available. So this is um, not the normal configuration of uh, SQL Server startup. This is minimal, uh, not exactly minimal, but um, uh, it's a uh, uh, not normal uh, configuration of SQL Server startup. Uh, and then after that, we will be going through how to detach MSDB from master database because uh, there is an entry in master database that has that will cause our script to go haywire. So we need to basically uh, uh, systematically detach uh, that MSDB from our master database backup. And once we do that, and then we're going to go ahead and run this inst msdb.sql script which is available in our install folder when we install sql server i'll show you in a second that where this script resides all we need to do is go ahead and run that script and after we run the script it is very important to um, save the results in output and observe the results because there might be some of the uh, uh, things that it didn't it couldn't recover and you need to manually recreate those things um, basically after you create um, those are the system uh, uh, tables so those system tables are mandatory if it is missing any system table you can go ahead and uh, uh, take a look uh, from the output file and then finally if you don't have the backup of uh, um, MSDB all the uh, uh, all the user objects such as um, jobs, maintenance plans, uh, all the all that kind of stuff needs to be recreated on newly MSDB. But you, if you do have a backup, that's well and good. And uh, backup needs to be recent. If it's not recent, then from that backup onward, you will lose any changes that you have made in MS uh, MSDB. So let's go ahead and uh, basically do that we're going to go ahead and first reproduce that what the state we're talking about right here so let's go ahead uh, this is my healthy uh, uh, dynamics ax dev uh, sql server instance as you can see that the msdb is online but we're going to make it unhealthy i have written down right the points here so we're going to go ahead and basically turn the services off and rename msdb um, MDF and LDF files so that it won't be able to basically find those um, files and that is just equivalent to corruption of MSDB so let's go ahead and uh, go in configuration and stop the services SQL server services and we're gonna go ahead stop the agent as well stop the agent refresh and both are stopped so let's go ahead and uh, go in the directory where our system files are so in my case if you go in SQL server right here my instance so I'm going to go in data right here is my MSDB data and MSDB log what I'm going to do is rename this underscore original
So now if I go ahead and start the SQL Server, it's going to it's going to start it, but it's going to we'll take a look how it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. As you can see, the MSDB is in recovery state. Now, if any database is in recovery state, you cannot basically as you can see that it's not allowing us to basically go ahead and restore this database so uh, we have no option but to rebuild our database so let's go ahead and start the f first step right here that start the SQL server we'll be using uh, SQL uh, uh, command line uh, and uh, we'll, we'll go through all this right here so what we're going to do is first start the SQL services stop the SQL services and start it with T3608 so we're gonna go ahead and command line let's go ahead and stop the services first stop I'm going to go ahead and stop all the services basically All right, all the services are stopped, so let's go ahead and run command line in administrative mode. It is always good idea and sometimes is requirement to run command line in administrative mode. So what I'm going to do is basically just copy paste the script right here. All right, the services started in um, data uh, master mode only. That means it's caring about the master only. So let's go ahead and refresh that. Let's disconnect and connect. All right, our MSDB is still in recovery mode. So ne next we need to do is go ahead and detach MSDB from our master let's go ahead and detach MSDB from our master here is the command we're gonna go ahead and run this command okay so our next target is to run the script which I'll show you right here if you go let me go ahead and first show you the script right here the command that we need to run SQL CMD and then this is our SQL uh, right here SQL Server host and SQL Server instance and right here is INS uh, uh, install msdb.sql and I'll show you that where it reside and we're going to go ahead and put the output in right here we can go ahead and put uh, install msdb that would be our uh, output file and we're going to observe that let me show you where this uh, uh, basically uh, installed msdb script exists so we're gonna go ahead and go in our instance program files Microsoft SQL Server and this is our instance so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go in install and if you notice right here th this comes from Microsoft so this is not my script right here so install msdb so what we're going to do is go ahead and copy this script to C and because in my script I just put it that uh, on on C so we're going to go ahead and put it on C you can put it maybe we can put it right here and change our path in our command so let's go ahead and do this So this is our uh, script right here so we're gonna go ahead and run this script and once this script is completed we should have our MSDB new MSDB created we'll go through the output file which is install MSDB and we're going to go ahead and basically uh, put this file under SQL sys sys 
this backup directory as well so that we can go ahead and take a look if uh, it has any errors uh, when it creates new uh, MSDB it creates also the system tables that's necessary for MSDB to work correctly so we'll be looking at the script that if it has missed any and if it has missed that we're not concerned about that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and copy this command let's make sure that our SQL server is um, hostname and SQL server is okay dynamics ax dev okay we're gonna go ahead and run this script it's going to take about three to four minutes in my case it basically creates msdb data and uh, log file in the beginning in the script you can open the script basically and take a look and uh, it takes time to um, create the system tables so it has already completed let's go ahead in our directory now to this is our uh, install msdb text file output file so let's first take a look if msdb is created so we're going to go back to our sql server instance right here and go to data and as you can see timing 6 8 16 and msdb log and file are created let's go ahead and turn the services on All right, all the services are on. Let's go ahead and connect with our SQL Server. We're going to run MS uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So we're going to go ahead and connect and see if our system databases are back. As you can see, MSDB is back. And let's take a look on the tables. All the system tables are OK, looks OK. So our final up here as we said that let's go ahead and observe the save the output in the result and observe the the results so let's go ahead and take a look on that we have our text file output text file right here so this is our output text file and let's look find any error that's okay that's error log that's error log and we got one error which is system collector it's okay we are not using system collector but uh, when we use it it'll create the stored procedure our system collector is not enabled on this particular database that's why it's throwing error and these are two errors system collector error we're okay with that these system collector errors because we don't have system collector enabled so that's fine with us everything worked fine so now we can go ahead and restore our database msdb database uh, if you don't know how to basically do that I'll go ahead quickly use management studio and restore tasks go ahead restore database and in my case the backup resides basically takes always a little time all right we're going to add our backup device right here which is SQL server backups here's our MSDB and we're going to go in option replace it and close the existing connection click OK okay our MSDB is restored to our good state so basically this is it this is how we rebuild our MSDB and uh, uh, how we restart SQL Server in master only mode this is uh, again the uh, not normal configuration of SQL startup and uh, we also did the detach how to detach uh, MSDB from master database and created new MSDB and 
finally we restored our msdb from our backup and i hope this video helps